sense to be I need to regenerate. I'm about to go off like I'm the avatar state and I can say First things first, you might be wondering, Kanjik, you used to upload like every day. Why haven't you been uploading as much? Oh wait, I didn't do the accent. Kanjik, you used to be uploading like every day, mate. Why haven't you been uploading as much? My accent needs work, I haven't done it in a while. Well, this has been kind of an adjustment period for me finishing off my university work and actually earning a degree. And while stuff has been changing in my life by the grace of God, so there was just less time for YouTube. But, but, I will be uploading more, trust me, I will. So, there you go. Plus, the new cycle for anime is pretty like, slow right now, so hopefully that gets faster so we get some juicy stuff to talk about. Today I wanted to go over some claims made about My Hero Academia, and well, a majority of this isn't new, but because of a new claim made by many people in the community, well, the topic is back, and I'm going to go over the truth of it all. We've all heard people say My Hero Academia is a copy of Naruto, right? We've all heard this? Yeah. Well, due to, well, basically the destruction of literally every single argument or notion that people make when it comes to Deku and Uraraka being a canon or official romantic relationship, whether that be for right now or people claiming it's practically confirmed canon for the future, well, again, due to the total and complete destruction of those arguments, many people have evolved backwards, so <laughs> devolved, to one of the oldest critiques of My Hero Academia and that is that it's following the formula or story of Naruto. And they're not necessarily using this to critique Naruto, even though this is originally a critique, they're using this to support their claim. So specifically why they've done this is in order to say that it is obvious that Deku and Uraraka are canon as a romantic relationship. The argument from these people goes like this. Deku may have never been shown to like Uraraka romantically, and may act similarly around her as he does to many other girls in similar situations in the series, but since Uraraka has been shown, stated, and confirmed to like Deku in a romantic way, that must mean Deku will eventually change and reveal that he actually truly does want to be with her romantically, and that he is in fact in love with her, and this is because they are the new Naruto and Hinata of this generation and since Horikoshi is following Naruto and we know Hinata liked Naruto and Naruto did not reveal his love for her until the end that is proof that the same will happen between Deku and Uraraka. Case closed. Okay now back to reality does that argument from these people actually come from truth? Well Horikoshi, the creator of My Hero Academia, had an interview alongside Kishimoto, the creator of Naruto, and here is what he said about inspiration from the Naruto series when it came to Uraraka. Horikoshi says he actually specifically looked at Naruto to compare Naruto Volume 17's tunnel scene with Jiraiya and the My Hero Academia Volume 2 hallway scene with Midoriya, Bakugo, and Uraraka. That's the inspiration concerning Uraraka. That's the inspiration. But hold on, he may not have said Uraraka is inspired by Hinata, but if he's following the Naruto formula, that means they are still Naruto and Hinata inspired, right? Well, in the interview notes, it says, the interviewer asks Horikoshi how he thinks Naruto has influenced him, and he says he knows the readers make comparisons and he has seen people online saying, my Hero Academia is a ripoff of Naruto. Hearing this, Kishimoto tells Horikoshi not to worry at all about comments like My Hero Academia is a ripoff of Naruto. Kishimoto notes that any superpower story will have some similarities. Horikoshi says that talking with Kishimoto, he realized that he gave eye powers to Aizawa Sensei just like Kakashi Sensei had eye powers but he had truly never made a connection there before. So, there you have that. It should be very obvious. Now, I must mention, I'm not someone who thinks it matters if Deku ends up with Uraraka or not, but when you say it's confirmed or there's proof to something or that the ship is canon, that's when things get just not wise and it gets destructive to our own community. I am, however, <laughs> pretty curious to what other ridiculous excuses people come up with next time 
for this ship being canon. Like, it's like, it just gets sadder and sadder with these things, and it's just like, wow. Just, just wow. <laughs> If you want more information on what ships are true and what are not, check out the video all about it right here on the channel. I explain it all. But I would appreciate it if you left a like before you leave this video. My name's Konjik. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. And I can say that I'm great. Yeah, I can say that I'm perfect. I ain't the one that was out here saving lives. I was purchased. Now we about to take you out if you try to act toxic. I'ma send you straight up to my main man, Konjik. Konjik. Konjik.